Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more esports talk. My name is Hunter, and thank you so much for tuning in. H3's Ethan Klein took to Twitch recently a couple days ago. He started streaming once again, and he started it off with a bang, talking to Aiden Ross about gambling streams. Now, after this stream, he proceeded to get an inquiry from XQC because XUC wanted to show up as well and talk about it and debate about it because he felt like Aiden Ross didn't really have a chance to stand his ground. What ensued though was absolute and pure chaos. Guys, look at I drank G Fuel on guys, get killed XQC on the There's a reason they're paying you a million dollars a month. You could say, hey, full fucking don't gamble. I'm gonna okay, no, I still agree no. with that point. I, I never backed back up. I never backed down from that point. Legitimately, legitimately licensed. Oh, point. Point. This is what we've moved to. Train. This is why look, this look, is just Tyler, a Tyler, fucking I show. You, I love you, but listen, Tyler, listen, listen, fucking drama I never backed viewers. away from that point. I never backed away from that point. What are you doing? I think you're getting the bag is one thing, right? And and by the way, they it's are not losing a bad thing. money, and my affiliates show that they are losing money on me. Friday Fireball, boys! Friday Fireball! You have. I, I was gonna say. Let's you get fucked up! No, I've you worked, don't get to do that. I have worked no. with. No. No. Oh, 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 oh. Let him finish his point. You don't let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. No, you won't. Wait, hold on. Respond when he's done. Respond when he's done. You're not gonna get the age specifically. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Stop moving. Stop moving. Just listen. Respond when Hassan's done. I can't. Now, despite how difficult this stream was to understand at certain points, we did get a little bit of information here and there. We saw Train talking about how he makes up to a million dollars a month a flat fee of a million dollars a month from his sponsors and that he's made two hundred and fifty thousand dollars from his creator code i get paid i'd say well right now i'm down right now I'm how much how much do they pay you as a flat fee every month for fulfilling your contractual I'll obligations to i'll them? probably get in trouble for releasing it but i'll tell you a million a million a month and I'm down 2.8 million this month. So now you can see how degenerate it is. It's bad. I don't care. I play with my own money, which is great, which is nice and all. But you're still getting paid a million dollars a month. And how much are you making on your on your code, by the way? Uh, Dirt cheap compared to yeah. what I get paid. Dirt cheap. In three months, I've made 250k. In three okay. months, that's okay. nothing. You understand? Well, it, 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 it makes it it makes it a lot easier. To, to make gambling look like a, a sustainable activity when you're getting a million dollars a month from the platform to do it. A large portion of this stream, as well as the stream that H3 had with Aiden Ross, was Hassan and Ethan Klein questioning the morals and the ethics behind these gambling streams and if it is okay to be doing on Twitch. Location just to set the groundwork here. Well, do you, do you, all, you also get a commission from the people that use your bonus code, right? I get amount wagered, but I don't push the code at all. And it's on your screen not, the whole time, right? It is on my screen, but I tell people yeah. not to uh, gamble at all. At all. Every hour, I tell them to gamble. Every win, I tell them not to gamble. Yeah, I tell but them come on. Lose. That's what performative. Mean, That's performative. You it know not, there's a I'll reason they're paying you a million dollars a month. You could say, hey, full fuck, don't gamble. But you, you're gambling. They're paying you a million dollars a month flat to gamble. You're getting a commission from all the people using your code. It's it's not – you can't just dance around it like, hey, guys, wink, wink, don't gamble. That's just – I understand okay. that you're not trying specifically to drive people to the code. But the effect of you doing that is that people are going to do that. A change that made you say, okay, I will do this as a big streamer. I got a love for it. I enjoy gambling. That's what I do on my off time. So now I do it on stream and I know I've catered to a older audience and as long as I'm responsible and transparent, which I am, you which you've admitted to me being, a month, I do that's it. What I'm saying. Ultimately, it's content, right? It's good content. When you're losing, you're it an is underdog. It's not, it's not, no, it's not about content. It's not about content. I do it regardless. Do you understand? If I was at 1,000 euros, I'd do it. This is what I do. Why well, are we pretending oh, like this I did thing it for the content happened. element to it. I've been gambling since the beginning. No, I, do you understand? I think it's content. It's, it's, and it's OG compelling gambler. too. Like and I'll be honest with you guys. I will keep it real. This was a three hour stream. So I do not have time to sit here and show you all of the arguments from everyone. Everything that XQC says or Train or Hassan or H3. There is way too much out there to dig through. I will link the video down below so you can watch through it if you want. But I'll give you 
kind of the best TLDR that I can of each person's main argument. Essentially, XQC thinks that gambling is bad. He stopped doing it and doesn't want to be lumped in with the other gambling streamers because he knows it's bad. He was addicted. He admits to it. He admits how it was affecting his thinking. Train says that gambling is bad and he makes it clear to his viewers that it is bad, but he continues to take those sponsors, the sponsored money and fill money and stream it because he enjoys it. He makes a big point to say that he is transparent with everything that he does with the fake money that he's using as well as how much money that he has lost. He also makes a big point that his average age of viewership is much higher than many others. Hassan says just straight up that gambling is bad and should not be streamed in any capacity. H3 mostly has an issue with the shady part of the sites and the streamers who are using this sponsored or fake money and not disclosing or being transparent about what they are doing. Ethan says frequently that he feels like it is just not a great thing to be doing. Again, like I said, I will link the video down below. So go check it out. If you want to hear everyone talking, I don't have time to share all of it. Many people chimed in on this saying they have, they all have their own opinions. There's so many people reacting to this. We got to see Soda talking about how he feels like these people are just doing it for views, but they won't admit to it. And so everyone is getting, you know, their own take about this situation. I, my biggest concern, I think my biggest question in all of this is how ridiculous is it that we are having to have streamers sit down and argue about this and talk about the morality, the ethics behind it, what's okay and what's not okay, and that Twitch is not involved in this in any capacity. That there is no Twitch representative, no one sitting down to have this conversation from the actual platform, that it's just streamers talking about it. So let me know what you think about the situation. Did you resonate with anyone's argument in this or did you just find the whole stream ridiculous? Until next time, guys, be safe, be smart, behave, and I'll catch you later.